I recently got asked if I would do my top three picks for drugstore makeup in every category. And I thought this would be a great video to be able to do for you, but it would be so long because it seems like the makeup categories that we have right now, they're like almost divided into subcategories. Like even what we're going over today, which is the base makeup and the face makeup, not only do we have foundation, we have tinted hydrators and that kind of thing. So I wanted to break this up into three parts for you. So it's kind of a series of what is my top three in every category at the drugstore. So this is affordable and I can't wait to share it with you. I do wanna share with you what I have on for a top today. I always do that. I throw up a picture really quickly and along with the jewelry, the earrings, the bracelet, all of that, I will make sure that everything like that is listed and linked down below for you. And if you're new here, I do have a numbering system that goes up right here on the screen and you will be able to see a number that corresponds to the product that I'm talking about at that time. Don't worry about remembering the product, just remember the number. Go down into the description box or the first pinned comment here on the video and you'll be able to see the product next to the number that came up on the screen. They will have the links and you can shop that way if you want to or you'll be able to just jot down what you were interested in. And also I wanna say if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for visiting me today. If you enjoy over 50 content with beauty, lifestyle, skincare, all the things that we face, menopause, all the things that we face as we get older, then this is the place for you. We are a very upbeat community and I have people here that support each other, that are kind to each other and I am so proud of this community that I have built and I love them so much and I hope that you will decide to be a part of it too. Please subscribe, hit the little bell icon so that you can be reminded and don't forget everyone to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out so much. All right, let's get into the top three drugstore products in every category base makeup starting with primers to be able to get my foundation to look very nice I look for a smoothing primer I'm also a very very dry gal after menopause so we're gonna start out with a new one that came out very recently and I'm so hooked on this this is from Milani it's the conceal and perfect blur out smoothing primer and this is very different than anything you've tried before. Now, it does have silicone in it, but it's very hydrating. And if you can see in the pot right there, it's not runny at all, it's very thick, but I will tell you that when you pick this up and you don't need very much, you need a very tiny amount. Now, when I'm talking about base products, I always tell everyone, please use the smallest amount that you need so that your makeup doesn't look cakey. Upon first contact of your skin, this Milani primer is very cooling, but then you feel that dimethicone or the silicones in it and it feels very smoothing. And then in just a second, it's going to dry down very quickly and you're gonna have that beautiful smooth canvas that you're wanting. So hydrating, smoothing, blurs everything out. This is one that I really have loved. And by the way, did I say we're going to go fast? We're going to go fairly fast here today. A uh, oldie but a goodie, one that absolutely broke the internet is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I still go back to this. I think it's one of the best on the market. This is a very silky primer. It is, again, very poor blurring. It actually helps out with texture. It's just a fantastic one. This feels hydrating, it feels silky. It is one that I can recommend over and over again and have recommended over the years. Really good for mature skin because again, we're blurring out everything, but we're not getting dry because of the hydrating factor in there. The third one that I wanna recommend is the ColourPop No Filter Primer. This one to me is a standout because of the grip that you get from this. Now you get a little bit of grip from the other two, especially from the Milani that I mentioned, but this one, I feel it when I put it on. I feel that gripping sensation. I know that my foundation is going to adhere to it, so it's gonna be there all day. This one does have the silicones in it. This one does do all that blurring and the hydrating. This one, I put it just on my hand right here. My hand looks spectacular. <laughs> so compared to the other hand, it looks more youthful, more smoothed out, and it still has that boost of hydration. This one is probably my daily one that I would use. Now let's talk about a little bit of color correcting. 
I did put a couple of products in here that have nothing to do with the top three in any category. These are two color correctors that I've used. I talk about this all the time on my channel. These are the LA Girl Color Mix-Ins for foundation. Now you have a foundation that's too dark. You can lighten it with the white. You have a foundation that is too orange. You can get it to be not so orange with the blue. And believe me, teeny tiny bit of this goes a long way. You're going to be able to see the difference in your foundation. So instead of throwing that foundation away or instead of going, having to go back to the store 20 times, you can make a very orange foundation cool with this. Now they also have a yellow, I believe, and an orange, I believe. And those would be for somebody that finds a foundation that is much too cool for them and they need it to be a little bit warmer. So these are invaluable to anybody wanting to change their foundation and not have to get rid of it. And then we're talking about color corrector under the eyes. If you've been with me any amount of time, you know that my ride or die one is Pixie by Petra. This is her peach color. This is a fantastic one. This is a very beautiful peach. They have an apricot one for darker skinned people. This is invaluable to me because I have super dark circles. And when you have to put more concealer on to get rid of a dark circle, then as you mature, they're gonna settle into those heavy wrinkles that we have. Then you gotta put more powder on and then you just kind of look like you got the Crypt Keeper eyes. They're super crinkly, they're super old looking. So using a color corrector can be your very best friend. ELF has a putty corrector itself that is a really good one this one i would say is quite a bit more emollient than the one from pixie and it has a little bit more of a yellow undertone to it instead of the peach i like this one because if you have that super dryness under your eyes this might just be the ticket for you and then the one that is newer to me but i feel like it definitely is a contender for any sort of color corrector is the under eye brightener from Catrice. This is super emollient. So you could almost use this as your concealer and get away with it. It's got nice coverage on it. Be very careful with these because you don't want to get carried away. When you get the ones like the e.l.f. and the Catrice that are very hydrating, you can get carried away with them because of that hydration that they have in there. But then you're going to find that you're going to get a little bit of creasing if you do top them with a bit of concealer. What I'm saying is use the, the very smallest amount that you can and then move on from there. This one is super light, so it would be really good for a very fair person. I'll make sure that I list all of these colors that I do have today down in the description box for you so you know. With concealers, this was very easy for me to do because I've loved these for quite a while, except for one is new. So I'm gonna show you the first one that you will not be surprised about, and it's from e.l.f. It's the Hydrating Camo Concealer, and these are so good. We're talking medium to full coverage. You can thin them out if you need to. I know that some people don't have very dark under eyes, but usually when a person is reaching for a concealer, they're reaching for it because they have the issue of having very dark under eyes. My number one tip to you would be match your concealer to your foundation. And as we age, that's important because if you get one that is too light, it's gonna mix with that under eye discoloration and it's gonna look gray and make you look even older. But if you put on the same color as your foundation, you've got the canvas that looks very even. But what I feel is so special about the e.l.f. is it's medium to buildable coverage. So if you need full, you can get there, but I would start with the smaller amount and then work up. I love the doe foot applicator on these, even though it's bigger. I still think that it is great for getting out the perfect amount. And all you have to do is just dot, dot, and then you know spread it out a little bit. But this is a really good one for the hydration as well. I can't wear anything underneath my eyes that doesn't have a little bit of that hydration because it's going to make me look super dry. And another one that does that is the Catrice 18 hour long wear hydrating true skin concealer. And I believe this one has hyaluronic acid in it. It sure does. And it says it's waterproof. What's interesting to me about that is the contradiction in hydrating and waterproof, but boy, it delivers. The color that I have is 018 Cool Rose. This is a beautiful color for me. Now I will tell you that this is a little bit thicker than the one from e.l.f. is. I like the doe foot applicator again. We have a paddle there, so dot, dot, and you're done. But I would say 
say that out of this and the e.l.f., you need even less of this one because it's even more full coverage. So if you're going to go in, be very light-handed, but this one's going to give you that 18-hour wear. I don't wear my concealer for 18 hours. I don't wear any of my makeup for 18 hours. I'm in bed way before that 18-hour mark rolls around, so I feel like it definitely is there at the end of the day when I'm ready to take off my makeup. Love that one. And then the last one is a newer find for me, but I am truly in love with this. I feel like this one right here can easily rival the Hourglass concealer that I love so much. I love the Natasha Denona and the Hourglass, and I feel like this is really comparable to both of them. This is from Rimmel, and this one is the Multitasker Concealer. And this one again is full coverage. I apologize to any of my gals that don't like full coverage. If you don't like full coverage, try Maybelline Instant Age Rewind or the Neutrogena one. Those are both the light to medium coverage. But this one, oh wow. I got it in the really super light color to begin with and that definitely wasn't one that I could use. But then I went back and I got it in this other color which is ivory and it just seems to work just beautifully. I do feel like I almost love this one from Rimmel just a little bit more than the other ones I've even shown because it just has all the factors to it. I don't feel like it dries out. I feel like it self sets. I feel like it. you don't have to powder it a ton, although I always powder my under eyes for no creasing. But I feel like this one performs like a high-end one and I am completely sold by this one. Now let's talk about tinted hydrators or skin tints. I have three that I think are way up there on the mark. I love these. They are all so good. Let's talk about the number seven Hydra Luminous a Aqua Release Skin Perfector Tinted Moisturizer and Hours of Hydration Light Coverage. This is very light coverage and you can build this a little bit though and I think that's why I like it because I'm not somebody that likes light coverage. I have too much discoloration but you can build on this and it still feels super light. It feels like a really the lightest moisturizer that you could possibly put on your face. And I think that's why I love it so much is because of how lightweight it is. It just performs well in blurring out everything, in evening out my complexion after I've used my concealer. And then if I need to, I can go in in certain spots and get a tiny bit more coverage and it still feels super hydrating. So for me, this is one that was way up there when I talk about skin tints. And I'm not a skin tint person, to tell you the honest truth. But another one that is really good as far as a hydrating skin tint is from Wet n Wild. This one's been around for a while. Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator, Tinted Skin Veil. It has hyaluronic acid and squalene in it. Lightweight, non-greasy finish, sheer to medium. So you can customize this however you need to. You can go up to medium coverage if you want to. This is a little bit heavier than the number seven, so you know that. It doesn't quite feel as moisturizing. It does feel more like it's more on the side of a foundation. But still, you could very much share that out. I got way too much on my hand. But that does show you how good the coverage is on it. The squalane in it is wonderful, and of course the hyaluronic acid. But if you've been looking for something that is very hydrating, give you the skin tint without being super heavy, this is a great one. People rave and rave about it, and for a good reason. Like nine months ago when it came out, found the CoverGirl Clean Invisible Foundation. Now this does not say that it's a skin tint. As far as foundations go, I was shocked at how lightweight this is, but how well it evens everything out, and that came out a ton too. So what you will find on first application of this is how hydrating it feels, and then you're going to see it start to blur everything out. This is highly perfecting. As far as, as skin tints go, I feel like this might be just a little bit step above, but it is super lightweight. And when it says it's invisible, once this dries down, you're gonna feel like you have nothing on your face. It's not going to dry down and be super moisturizing. It won't be matte. You will love how this feels on your skin after it dries down. To me, you can see how good this is as far as completely covering without it being heavy. I just love it. And then we switch over to the medium to full coverage, which is what I normally look for. And today on this side of my face, I'm wearing the number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation, targets the appearance of the first signs of aging, medium coverage, 
and it has a sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 50 plus. This is your basic CC cream. Think it CC cream. This is that kind of a product where you're going to be able to get that coverage that you need. It's gorgeous on your skin, but you're going to get the moisturizer. It's going to perfect, smooth out. You're going to get the SPF. This one is one that if you have been using the it CC cream, you might like this more. I personally appreciate this one more just because of the way that it goes across my mature skin and, want, and really perfects the texture on my skin. So this one is one that I highly recommend as well. This one is no surprise to any of you that have been with me for a few years and it's the L'Oreal Invisible Pro Glow. This foundation should be in a department store behind a counter and you should be paying 40 to $50 for it. And I'm so glad that we don't have to. This foundation is a rock star as far as I'm concerned in the category of foundations that give you a little bit of glow. All of a sudden they burst across the screen as everybody wanted the natural radiance. Everybody wanted the glow. Well, guess what? L'Oreal did it years ago before we were even thinking about it. And then we have to go on to bigger and better things. But going back to this, this is a absolutely phenomenal foundation that covers everything, does not look matte, does not make you look dry. If you're a mature woman, you will love this if you've never tried it before. It should be a staple for just about every mature woman. If there's someone that needs their skin to be perfected for one and needs that beautiful radiance at the same time without giving texture, it's such a good foundation. And then on this side of my skin, I did choose to use the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This has hyaluronic acid and it is long wearing. It is one that super perfects. It is a full coverage pretty much. What I did today was I sprayed my brush. You can use this with a sponge. And both of those things, a dampened sponge, and both of those things are going to shear it out a little bit so that it does become a medium coverage. For me, that's what I did today. And it covered everything, but it didn't make me look like I had a mask on. And I love how long wearing it is and really good for taking care of the texture around the pores. It's just an all around good foundation, especially if you love full coverage. This is like Estee Lauder Double Wear, but not matte like that. It does make your skin look very natural, has a very natural finish to it. So this is a rock star as far as I'm concerned too. And then we go on to the category of powders. And all three of these feel super light and super airy as you put your finger in them and touch them. This one is from Wet n Wild. This one is the 5-in-1 Essence Primer and Finishing Powder. You can use this before you go in with makeup. You can use it after makeup. It says it has five benefits of it, and I'll read those off to you. Smooths, conditions, refines, pores, balances, and it's pre and post makeup. Again, this should be behind a counter in a very high-end store like Nordstrom or Macy's, and we should be buying it as a luxury powder. Not. By the way, did I say this only has mica in it and no talc? Yeah, this is a good one. This feels so silky and so soft. It is light. It is airy. It is super duper buttery, if you can call a powder buttery. But this powder, as far as setting, and you know, you get break apart around your nose or around your chin. And if you have big pores, this is a beautiful powder. So definitely take a peek at that one. And then one of my subscribers, one of you all told me about the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. I was really turned off by the name, Stay Matte. I don't want my powders to make me look more matte. I want to have that natural finish to my skin. However, put your finger in here and whoa baby, hardly anything comes up. This is like a no powder powder and that's what I love about it. It is super duper light and in setting underneath your eyes, this is probably my favorite one to do that out of the three because it is so light, but at the same time, it's going to keep all of your makeup under your eyes from creasing. And if you want to take shine down, this is a really good one too. I have a lot of shine on today and I don't know exactly why, but you can take a lot of shine down with this and you can build this powder as well. I don't normally say that as a mature woman. Building powder, that's just like, you know, completely against what we normally think about when we think about mature women. But this is a light, 
airy does not look heavy just looks perfecting and super smoothing powder the last one same thing as the rimmel this is the l'oreal true match super blendable powder they do have many colors in this one which i appreciate and i also always appreciate their packaging where they have a puff underneath with a mirror i just think that's a really nice touch especially for a drugstore powder now the same thing stick your finger in here and you hardly feel anything come up as a matter of fact there's hardly anything on my finger but you're getting that super light airy feeling but oh this feels so good on my skin because it can be built again i would say that those two powders right there are your best friends especially if you're looking for just a finishing powder this one is great for setting or priming either one they're all three beautiful and this one doesn't have any talc in it such good powders at the drugstore and i feel like again these could be sold behind a high-end counter and you would pay for it because they are that good last category that we have to talk about is setting spray and i cheated on this one i actually have four and the reason i have four i'll show you in just a minute first of all this one from neutrogena is their radiant setting powder now you shake this one up and this one is going to give you a beautiful kind of light dewy finish so if you're somebody that is very much into that radiant finish without it being greasy looking you're going to love this beautiful mist on the spray here just absolutely gorgeous on that you can also use this one right here, which came out very recently, which is the e.l.f. Power Grip Setting Spray. This one is one of the most hydrating that I've ever found. So if you're somebody that during the day, you have super dry skin to begin with, and then during the day you find that your skin gets drier and drier, this one might be the best one for you. Because not only does it have the best mist I've ever seen on a drugstore spray, but it also has the fabulous ingredients of making your skin look dewy. It does keep your makeup in place. It grips it, it holds it on, but at the same time, it's not drying whatsoever. Again, no alcohol in this one. This one's the rock star of the setting sprays in here because has everybody been thinking about wanting to try the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter? setting spray because you hear about it and you hear about how perfecting it is and how much it holds the makeup on and how gorgeous it is well guess what let's toss it in the ring with the ColourPop no filter setting spray because charlotte tilbury has these little polymers in it or little spheres in it that fill in your pores and perfect your makeup that's where that airbrushed saying comes into the the name of it this has it in there too so you're getting the hydration, you're getting the setting, you're getting the just absolutely perfecting look to it. This is a fabulous, fabulous setting spray. I have almost given up my Charlotte Tilbury. I still use it, yes, but this one is so good too. Now this one is probably not the best mister out of the three, but it's still pretty. I mean, I can still put it on my face and not feel like my face is drowning in little droplets at all so good oh my goodness so so good now if you are an oily gal here's my honorable mention this is one called bella jade makeup setting spray the reason that i want to throw this in here is because i know i ignore my oily gals because i'm so darn dry and i apologize for that but here you go this one is so good for oily skin because it has green tea in it and the caffeine in that green tea is going to help to set your makeup and keep that oil at bay all day so i definitely wanted to put this one in here and again a beautiful mist on this one this one is light and airy and i really like this that is everything for today's video the base makeup next time we will either have eyes or we will have cheeks i hope that you did enjoy seeing all the drugstore these are so affordable compared to going in and shopping at Nordstrom, Macy's, Dillard's, or even Sephora. They're just so much more affordable and I hope that you did enjoy seeing them. Thank you for being with me today. I love you to death and don't forget to come back around and see my very next video. Goodbye my friends. Mwah.